Hey guys, in today's video we'll be debugging uh, high Firefox memory usage. So yesterday, the story goes that yesterday night, I was just using the browser and I found it extremely laggy. Based on my personal experiences, a lag is not due to CPU, but it's due to memory. For some reason, I think that when you're at 90% memory allocation, or there's any, even in an app, if the app itself has high memory, the app just slows down. So it really goes to show you that memory efficiency is also a factor when talking about performance. It's not just about how fast your CPU is or how efficient your code is. Memory itself is probably a big part of it. I'm pretty sure that most of the problems with computers that I've had in recent years is because of memory. Uh, some examples are Visual Studio Code and IDEs. So my old laptop used to be a razor blade stealth with eight gigabytes of RAM. It had a i5, but it was obviously a mobile i5, came out in 2016. I actually have a video about that uh, before in this YouTube channel. And uh, so it, it just ran out of memory if you used more than one editor. I was trying to use a VS Code and IntelliJ. Well, at the time I was using PyCharm, which I don't recommend anymore. And it just couldn't handle the memory usage. So that's when I decided to get a new laptop. And then even with the new laptop or my desktop, I ran out of memory when I was making my Android application. So Android applications requires Android Studio, but I didn't have that running, but it requires the emulator and the emulator takes up a lot of memory, like maybe four gigabytes plus. So if you have a 16 gigabyte system and you have Android emulator, and your computer is being has is like old, like you've been using it for a long time. That means there's a lot of idle processes of Windows, and then you just run out of memory. But now I have my laptop right now, and you know it hasn't reached 99% with Android emulator. But obviously, applications like Firefox can be a problem. So with Firefox, yesterday it was at five gigabytes of memory, and uh, I was sh I was scratching my head on why it was like that. So obviously, if I make this video, that means I didn't actually know how to do this yesterday, and I would have really appreciated. So the first thing you want to do is press Shift Escape. The other way to access the Process Manager page is to go to this menu over here, go to Settings or sorry, More Tools, and then click Task Manager. So now that you're here, sort the page by memory. And now you'll come to pages, you'll get the GPU, which is fine. Then Firefox, which is fine. That's the main process. Then you have every web pages as well. But so it could either be a web page or it could be something like extensions. So in my case, it wasn't a web page that was using up four gigabytes of memory. It was the extensions, but we need to dig deeper. Just knowing that it's one, it's a couple like that. It's the broad category of extensions is not enough because I have a lot of extensions installed. So it could be a lot of these. It could be one of these. How do I know which one it is? So the next thing you want to do is you want to go to about memory. Now, a couple of things what we can do here. We can do we can free memory and we can also measure. So. The first thing you probably want to do is uh, you want to measure it and you want to figure out what the culprit is. And then we'll go over what these mean. So once you're on this page, you want to click on extension, right? And you want to go through this list and you're basically looking for things that start with moz extension colon slash slash. So in this case, we can look at these and we can see, okay, this is all one. Okay, uh, then we have a couple of these ones. So this is the one as well. So then we get a bunch of these and we can probably pick out the extension that's causing most of the issues or extensions. So in this case, I would say that all extensions are behaving normally. And, you know, it may seem that 15 is a lot, but It'll make sense once you find out which extension that is. So what you're basically looking at here, you're looking for is 100 megabyte plus. So if it's using 100 megabytes of memory, that's probably a red flag. So anything that's using 10 times the normal amount is probably a memory leak or something to investigate further. So 
right now, I would probably stop right here. I wouldn't investigate further. But because this is, we're going to assume that it's, it's an abnormal amount of memory being used. So let's, let's see how I would do that. So the first thing you want to do is control C this part, which is the extension ID. And then you want to go to about and debug it. Okay. So once you're on this page, you want to go to this Firefox. So it's basically this URL and you want to control F and search up the ID. And I said control F, but obviously on Mac OS, it's command F. So just keep that in mind. So now that we know what the extension ID is, we could either uninstall it, give it a bad review. And, you know, I tried inspecting it before, but this is over my head and it's probably not going to be easy for you to do that either. It's probably best to just get to this point where you know which extension is causing the problems. Now, as I said before, we want it to experiment around. So right now, Firefox is using over a gigabyte of memory. So let's see what each of these functions does. So the first one is called garbage collection. So basically, with languages like JavaScript or something, the memory is uh, not manually freed. So with C++, which is like what powers Firefox or even with Rust, there's manual memory management, or at least in C++, there's a manual uh, memory management and Rust, it's kind of like, uh, kind of more safer. It's still possible to do ma manual memory management, but usually it's very smart in freeing memory. And in JavaScript, it's just a garbage collection. Same with a lot of languages like Python and Java. So after running that, we reduce our memory by a couple of megabytes. It's probably not worth doing this if it's going to reduce so little. And the next one is called a cycle collection. So this do this actually uh, didn't do much. Probably just freed some stuff that runs every now and then. So it wouldn't do much. But the last one is called minimize memory usage. It's probably what you're probably going to click anyways. And this one we can see reduced the memory a considerable amount. I would say it reduced it by over 200 megabytes. Am I speaking correctly? Okay, maybe more than 100 megabytes, but you know, if you ran this at the beginning from 1.2 megabytes, uh, uh, sorry, 1.2 gigabytes, and you click this, it probably reduce it by 200, which is, you know, the math is <laughs> the math is 17 percent. So that's how you can reduce memory by like 17 percent. So um, yeah. So lastly, let's go over what I did. Just uh, go to your task manager, you notice the problem, go to process manager. If it's extensions, go to the about memory, click measure, note down the extension ID, and then go to debugging and find the culprit and then give it a bad review or something, report the issue and disable or uninstall the extension. If it's a web page, you can close it or, you know, just ban it, never use it again. And of course, when you are very desperate for memory and don't want to close any tabs, then you can just do minimize memory usage. And, you know, we'll get maybe like a 17, like a 16% increase in memory. So yeah, uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I enjoyed making this. I know this isn't the video you guys expected, but you know, these types of videos where I just make random, I make a video on some random thing that I feel is lacking on YouTube gets a lot of views. So that's why I made it. And I'll see you in the next one.